Hi guys, Ken Somerville here. I was asked uh, about wrapping text around an image, so I'm just going to quickly show you guys how to do that, and at the same time to set up uh, your alt text for images. So uh, what I've done is I'm into a, a post already, and uh, just going to add a quick title here and just call it title. Now I'll throw in some text in already. So we're just going to place an image. We're going to place it just down here. You want to place it wherever you, you want to uh, add your image. Then you go up here to upload. And this is add an image. So we click on that. And uh, I'm just going to grab one from my computer. So up here it says from computer, from URL, from media library. Your media library, of course, is images that you've already uploaded onto the YMS system into the, your particular website. So we're going to select file and go to libraries, pictures. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to grab a, a banner that I have created and we'll just pick um, a 125 by 125 pixel one here. Uh, dreams do come true. We'll just uh, highlight it and hit save. Now that's going to upload the file. There we go. Now here you can see the title, Dreams Do Come True. The alt text um, is whatever you really want to put in. You can put in the name of your website. Uh, etc. This will just put uh, make money online. So when somebody types in make money online and they click images in Google, there's a chance that this image will actually come up. Now you can add captions, you can put a description in, etc. I would suggest that um, if you're doing a description, put in something about the article that you are writing or blog post that you're writing and uh, then you can come down here you can put it to the left the center or to the right and we're gonna put this one over on the left we're gonna use the full-sized image now we're just going to insert that into post and you see it's uh, it's there right away now you can see it's showing that it's wrapped around here already so uh, we're just going to save this as a, a draft and then we're going to uh, take a quick look at it in the preview. And there it is. Now how I got this to wrap around, it's something that I've actually have uh, preset in, uh, in my, in how I do uh, my pictures. If you, um, click on it you can see where you can delete it and then you can see a little image you know you want to go into the image and you want to go to the advanced settings now in the advanced settings you have uh, different things that you can change you can change your width you can change your height and change the alignment um, etc but the easiest and quickest way to um, have the text wrap around is by adding a border. So basically what I do is I just throw in two and that's going to end up being two pixels of space around your image. And then you just hit update and that gives you a little bit of a border of space around your image. And that is going to help um, the computer realize that you uh, want to wrap your text around. Now I hope that has helped guys and uh, what I'll do is uh, just to give you a little bit of a demonstration on how it really makes a change we're gonna go 50 as a border. Now you can see here where that has changed the the look Now you see how that has really put a huge border around it? So we're just going to save this. And you can really see how that has made it a, a, a huge border, which in some ways really makes it uh, 
pop out to people with a, a huge border like that, but it's everybody's own personal preference. We're going to go back and preview that and see how it looks um, when somebody would look at your blog. So there you go. So that's basically how you can uh, add alt text to your image and put a border around to uh, have the, the text wrap around your image. Uh, have a great day and we'll talk to you on the next video.